Hi, I'm Ben Marriott, and in this series, I'm going to be breaking down how to create these complex looking background animations using a few simple techniques, all in After Effects. In this video, we're tackling this really trippy kaleidoscope effect. And this project file is available for download for free, down in the description so you can take a deeper dive. In a new comp, I've dragged in this footage of some fireworks and our trusty color palette as well, which we'll use for some color picking later on. And I'm going to explain this effect on this footage first, so it's a little easier to understand. And this effect is by far my favorite of the bunch and is also the easiest. So let's select our footage of fireworks and I'm going to add the effect CC Collider. And already, as soon as we click on it, we know something complicated has happened. And if we play it back, we've instantly got this sort of complicated psychedelic kaleidoscope look and doesn't look too much like our footage. We can kind of see the fireworks if we know what to look for, but let's go through and make some adjustments. There's a lot of really interesting things we can do to change the look of this effect. Now by default, the mirroring is set to flower, but there are many to choose from. We can choose wheel, fish head, die across, or my favorite, which is starfish. We can adjust the size and size determines how big the repeating area of our footage is gonna be. You could even animate the size just on a still image by taking the size really small and then increasing it. And it kind of looks like you're zooming in on a microscope. The center here determines where the middle of the kaleidoscope is on the footage. And just by dragging it around, you can get some really crazy results. And the rotation rotates the piece of footage that is being taken for this effect. Now I like to animate rotation to drive the motion of this effect. So let's keyframe that at the very start of our comp. And I want to keyframe that at zero rotation. I press U on my keyboard to bring up that keyframe so it's visible. And then at the end of the comp, let's change that to 90. So it goes from zero degrees to 90 degrees. And there, that's looking really complex. To bring it more in line with our designs, we can add the effect CC Toner and adjust a few of the colors. Let's set that to Pentone. And I'm just gonna select some colors from our color palette here. There, that's looking a lot more psychedelic and really nothing like fireworks now. But the absolute best result I found was by applying this effect to one of our elements that we already created earlier in this series. So I'm gonna drag in our scene two effect, which is this mirrored lined background. And let's add CC Collider to that layer. And here we get this awesome geometric result. Let's change that mirroring back to Starfish. There we are. Let's increase that size to somewhere around 50. And now let's animate the rotation again, going from zero at the very start to 90 at the end. There, now when we play that back, we've got this really gorgeous looking geometric, psychedelic, almost gem looking like effect. And I just love how this turned out. And this effect is just super fun to play with. If you want completely different shapes, like at the start, we turn like these triangles here. Let's just choose our center and place it anywhere else on our screen where some of it looks nice. This is looking pretty good. Let's see what this looks like from here. And that's looking even more intense. Let's find some karma to put our center. There we are, this center is a little more pleasant. And just changing any one of these values gives you almost infinite possible arrangements on a comp or a piece of footage. And here's what that looks like in our main comp with our head animation. Check out the other videos in this playlist to learn how to animate the other background effects. I'll see you on the next one.